back. Everybody's been saying what a wonderful person you are. I know your background. They gave you the key to the city of Houston. They call you Mr. Houston, that you trained the troops in the past with the Shanghai sleeper. So everybody has some darkness in their side, Mr. Bosch. What I'm saying to you is this. If you are the inventor of the Shanghai sleeper, the master, how did the purple haze learn the hole? So what I'm saying is this. The black side of everybody comes out. Dusty Rhodes, you listen clear. The other week, the Hayes and I traveled the astral plane to Bangkok, the city of night. And after 12 o'clock, when the real people come out, we were summoned to the temple by Shamaji himself. And he gave us the betel nut to chew on. And as we chewed and spit the vile red crimson from our mouth, <laughs> I had forgotten something because an image started to form as the juice ran off the wall and the haze himself went into shrieking hysterics and Shamaji pointed at me and said even in your infinite wisdom you forgot one ingredient and that ingredient was the reverend himself so what I'm saying to you Dusty Rhodes you remember when the haze came for me, you almost lost an eye. So what I'm saying is this. The lines are clearly drawn, Dusty Rhodes. He's coming, and he's coming to serve somebody. Kevin had many things to show us his dark side, including his strange makeups, his strange partner, the Purple Haze. But this has got to be the most chilling yet. Let's take a look at Kevin Sullivan and his friend, the Reverend Mr. Black. Can't forget this. <laughs> it's here. 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 <laughs> it's here. 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 Like it said it would be. They said it would be here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Just like they said it would be. <laughs> At the dark side. Make, what? Make me strong. What? <laughs> Please. Please, I'll make you strong, make me but strong. you'll serve me and all of me. Please. <laughs> 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 and you'll serve me. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to say this about young Brad Armstrong. Do not draw a parallel line between Brad Armstrong and myself. That is enough said there. During a time in Sri Lanka, when we traveled throughout the world, himself the haze rolling and screeching about as we chewed on the beetle nut said to me 
only one thing is missing. The final chapter for Dusty Rhodes and the family. It has been written and prophesied on the seventh step of the temple. Rhodes, I will admit this. I have never made a mistake, but I haven't done it quick enough, the destruction, because I'm getting this here. The final chapter, the lines are clearly drawn. You're on one side with your so-called family of Mulligan and Wyndham in your soul. And I am on the other side. Slowly your world has crumbled. All around you, you are starting to wonder, who can I trust and who can't I? Well, you can never trust me, Rhodes, except for one thing. I will destroy because it has been prophesied and the man right there, the final ingredient for the final chapter is here. And it won't be too much longer before your end and the fire and the brimstone you will smell because it is written for me to rule and rule I will because you cannot stop the future. And I know the future, the past and present because I can travel. Don't throw the power. Interesting, uh, interesting man indeed. Let's go to the ring. We're going to be seeing the Reverend Mr. Black for the first time here on television. This match, one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first from St. Petersburg, Florida, at 215 pounds, Denny Brown. His opponent, accompanied to the ring by Kevin Sullivan from an undisclosed origin at 313 pounds, the Reverend Mr. Black. An awesome looking figure, I must admit that, and uh, we have yet to fully see his face. I don't know the reason uh, behind this, whether it's uh, because his visage is scarred or uh, uh, he doesn't wish uh, proper identification or what it would be. Brother! Well, Gordon, you know, earlier I was trying to intelligently uh, question Kevin Sullivan about any information he might be able to give me about the Reverend Mr. Black. Uh, apparently, I couldn't get anything from him about his whereabouts, where he's from, his past wrestling background. Seems like uh, the Purple Haze came from the sea, and as far as I'm concerned, I guess the Reverend Mr. Black is just someone he dug up. He is uh, just tremendously strong, and he just gave a full body slam, came off the ropes, and crashed that... Uh, oh, well, wait a second. Now, Dennis Brown has never had a chance. He tried to move against him, couldn't. And uh, wait a minute, Black is after him. This is uh, going to get him in trouble with the referee. Black has him up again. And Sullivan putting a stop to this. And uh, certainly a good thing that he did, or the situation could have been bad indeed, but the Reverend Mr. Black seems to be completely mesmerized by one Kevin Sullivan. We'll be 